I believe that a good building should not only solve its functional requirements, but also should stir the imagination. There is a house in the Catalina Vista neighborhood of Tucson, not far from the Arizona Inn, that has for years caught my attention and provoked my musings whenever I drive by. Surrounded by a screen of head-high oleanders is a Mexican-style house painted a deep and vibrant blue. The color is almost electric, and whenever I pass this house, I inevitably think of the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo's blue house in Coyoacan, a lovely small town now engulfed by the sprawl of Mexico City. There, the color used, azul anil, is considered to ward off evil spirits. When I gaze at the Blue Tucson house, I often imagine Frida and her husband Diego Rivera in their Coyoacan home serving some wonderful Mexican meal on their terrace to a gathering of vivacious and interesting friends. Like a typical 19th century Sonoran urban dwelling, this Tucson house has an arched zaguan, or entry passage, from the front to the inner courtyard. This opening allows the passerby to just barely glimpse through the wrought iron gate, the foliage of potted plants, as well as shadows cast by the slowly moving blades of a ceiling fan, all evoking life within. I do know that at one time, an artist occupied the Blue House, but she has passed on, and I am told that her son currently lives there. Recently, I learned that the house was originally a horse stable that served the racetrack that was formerly located just north of the Arizona Inn. So what used to house horses now appears to be a residence for people. I often wonder if an architect designed the building or was it conceived and built by the original owner using no more than memory of other such structures as well as a floor plan drawn with lime on the hard ground and the indispensable labor of skilled masons. I can envision owners, past and present, appreciating the best of this region's vernacular architecture and its historical ties with Mexico. The artist who made the decision to paint the house such a bold color and to maintain that color in a neighborhood of neutral hues took a bold risk that succeeded and the resultant architecture is as seductive as fine tequila.